Hello, and welcome, people of Earth. This is Bailey. Oh my god, this is exciting. I'm playing Dragon Age. Get over it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am doing, maybe, possibly, play the trilogy of Dragon Age because I'm really... <sighs> I mean, I've already played through Dragon Age Inquisition like three times now. Uh, none of the times I have, like, done everything that I want to. Like, I haven't unlocked all of the content, so some of it's still new to me. So I'm really excited about that. And, and so I decided, you know what? Screw my system. Because I had a system. I was gonna, I had like a specific character I created for like all of the romantic interests that all the different races and classes and stuff. Screw the system. I don't want to play it nine times before I finally get to do it the way I want to. So, <laughs> so I am going to be playing like the perfect playthrough of all of them. And I was hoping to bring you guys along. Might not. Fraps has been screwing me over lately. So I don't know what I gots to do. But hopefully it's gonna work. It's, I don't know. I might have to do other shit first. Whatever. But I'm gonna start with Dragon Age Origins. Because why the freak not? Also, I've got all the DLC for both. Uh, or for both. Yeah. yeah. For all the games, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have all of it. I don't have uh, Golems of Amorak or whatever it was. Which you think I would because I'm like the dwarf person. But whatever. I don't have that one. And I'm not going to be playing any of the DLC that like is like a standalone kind of thing. Sort of. You know, like uh, the Darkspawn Chronicles and stuff. I'm not doing that bit. But, uh, but everything else, it's gonna be a thing. So I don't have to mess with the keep anymore, because it's really... <laughs> I was really excited for the keep when it started, but then I was just like, no, nah, I've done, like, four of them now, and it's kind of really slow and boring. But yeah, still pretty, but boring. <laughs> also, I am talking through the cutscenes if I want to. So suck it. I won't the now, Chantry though. teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race. Warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. What? 
It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. No. Evil. Evil. Evil darkspawn people, person. I'm going to create a new character. All right. So guys, I don't know how this is going to look. I don't know how I'm going to sound. I don't know how anything is going to work. If Raps is going to poop out on me. Don't know. So. Bear with me if I have technical problems, because I have not done this in a very long time. I haven't played Dragon Age Origins in forever. And I was trying to decide through the whole cutscene what race and what gender and what what I'm going to freaking do. I don't know. I don't know. The dwarves are my favorite. They are my people. I love, I love my people. They are my people. I am very loyal. <laughs> but... I was kind of hoping to do one in Dragon Age Inquisition, and I'm kind of like, like I'm really picky, no, not picky, I guess, kind of OCD about the races, and so I'm just like, if I do a dwarf now, and then I do a dwarf in Inquisition, is, am I going to seem too dwarfy? I don't know. So I don't know. I d I don't like elves. <laughs> I don't want to be an elf. So I feel like I'm either going to be human or a dwarf. I don't know. Well, I think I'm going to be female. That's that's a thing that I'm probably going to do. Um. Should I go with uh, female human Kuzland? Because that is like the most played thing ever. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't want to play the human noble. I don't like the human noble that much. Uh, should should I be an elf just just for whatever's? Ah. Uh, I don't know, man. Well, female... Okay, I had a... What was it? I think female... Warrior. City elf. I think that's what I played. Very first time. I played this game. When I was a wee babby. Jeez, I was a wee babby. I was like, what, 13, 14 when I played this? God. Alright, um... I'm going with Reading. the female elf. I'm going to be cliche. Not as cliche as human noble, though, so... Counter flippin' blessings, people. Now, I don't remember if I have mods or not. Probably. I don't remember them, though. I'm going to go with the, the blank face. First. Okay, well I don't have any preset mods. That's that's one thing that I don't have. Do I have comp complexion mods? I don't. I don't have any mods, do I? Uh I have an HD mod, I think. I think that's what I'm seeing right now. Is textures. Uh Let's go with the kind of sickly look. She looks a bit sickly. I'm gonna make her a little bit more pale. No blushes. I don't like that. Should we do a very light lip? I don't know. I'm not good with, uh, excuse me. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not good with makeup and stuff. 
I'm not a makeup-y kind of person. Should we do black? <laughs> nah, let's do no makeup. Nah, I want a little bit. She, she looks very, very sickly. Sorry, I, I keep looking out the window making sure my mother isn't coming home. I'm, I'm probably going to have to quiet down when she does, because she always is like, Why are you talking to yourself? She's like, I don't talk to myself, mother. I talk to my, my internet friend. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I don't know. Uh, all right. No or lots. Let's go with that one. Whatever. I shadow. <gasps> Boom. Make her eyes even darker. <laughs> She's scary like that. She's a scary. She's a scary son. Do we want tattoos? The DA. DA Origins tattoos are kind of crap. Nah. Right. Her. 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 <laughs> uh. Well, I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of like she needs a big sword, so she might want to have shorter hair, realistically speaking. I mean, you don't want that stuff flying about. Or maybe put it, put it, oh, no, no. Maybe put it up in a bun or something. Hey, we can do the bun. I don't like this, though. That is not how hair works. I mean, if you got that thick of hair, that low on your neck, bit strange. Also, hair does not grow right here. It goes from back here down. Oh. The hairs. Oh my god, I have these. <laughs> I can't see these. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 14 year old me and the weird hairs. Maybe there's a decent one in here somewhere. Nope. 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 Huh? I kinda like that. Mm, nope. These are just, they're too voluminous and clean. That's not what they would have looked like. Huh? Uh, maybe. Short hair ain't too bad. It's still too clean though. She's. I'm going for the sickly look, guys. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> nope. 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 Oh, okay. Is that it? This is a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go for the hair. It's normal hair. Normal hair. I don't like that little twisty bit. It always freaks me out. It freaks me out. It's terrifying. I hate it. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. Her color. Let's go brown. Eye shape. She gonna be scary? No, she's gonna be squinty. <laughs> uh, eye color. Do I have any eye mods? Nope. Great. I can't even see these. Eh, squinting, getting real close to my new monitor. <laughs> my uh, 27 inch monitor. Yeah, you jelly. <laughs> um, we can go light blue. Whatever. That's fine. Brow depth? Oh, that. Meh, meh. What? Meh. What? 
meh. <laughs> Let's go with slightly meh. Nose. All right, we got to make this pre predominantly elven. Always have fun making these kind of elvish to me, anyway. Like the bottom half of the face. I like the point. It's it's very delicate. All right. Uh, nose height down. You gotta make their face kind of longish. I always feel. And kind of like a pointy nose. Bridge depth. Well, I want to kind of. Can we do like the uh, bells in um, Dia Two and I more like? I'm assuming, well, I guess we can't move that bit, can we? What is that called? I don't even know. Well, we can, <laughs> we can make it bumpy, nice and bumpy. I like those on, on men. Not, not quite, not quite on women, but whatever, it's fine. Wait, we have no shape. Is that a thing? Oh my god, that's, that's a definite beak you got there, Missy. Uh... Is that one a bit closer? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Don't worry, she will not look like this forever. Okay. Uh, lip side. Oof, pookie. Freaking Angelina Jolie lips are. I can make it thinner. And whitish. And we'll give her an underbite. Wait, overbite. That's what it's called. Overbite. See, we're making her human and not just beautiful, because everybody always wants to make everybody beautiful. And I, th I think she's quite pretty so far. Maybe not like the classic beauty, but whatever. Cheekbone depth. Eh, we don't need that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, cheekbone width. Eh. Height. Oh, chin height. Yeah, we gotta lower it a bit more. Their profile's looking a bit strange now. Uh, mouth height, maybe a little bit more down. Down! Down! Uh, width. Jaw width. There we go. She looks more elvenish. To me, anyway. I think she looks elvenish. Uh, get her a thin neck. Elves tend to be very slender, don't they? Okay, what's her personality gonna be? She can be kind of insane, a little angry, kind of snarky, uh, or good, or uh, very stoic. I think we should make her a little bit snarky. I like snarky people. What kind of snarky? That snarky or that snarky? That snarky. <laughs> uh, move up. Camera distance. All right. What background? She's got brown hair. And she's gonna come from the city, so kind of earthy tones, but not quite green, like brownish, like a city slum kind of brown. There you go. <laughs> no. I must try another tactic. How do you do? Oops, <laughs> where's my head? Hmm, new weapon. Eh. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. My weapon isn't working. Greetings. Blast it, I have lost the spell. This weapon does nothing. Charmed. It didn't work. Oh, bother, I need something new. Greetings. Ugh, my spell. This is working. Need something else. I like cocky. How do you do? Yeah. I'm doing fine. How about you, Chicky Poo? Um. Right. Name. Uh. Uh. How about. It's gotta be like human ish, right? That's what cereals are a lot more human like than the others. So, how about. Lena. <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> um, 
Gamora. <laughs> uh, Benedict. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, how about... I'm just gonna freaking make one up. How about... Tara. There we go. Unique spelling as well. I accidentally put the E in. Whatever. <laughs> She she can be a, a, a DC person. Tara Tab Tab is it Tabris or Tabri? I'm not even sure. I always say Tabri. Uh, strength. She's gonna be a strength strength person. Strength person. <laughs> and dexterity as well. You need dexterity. Always, always need dexterity. Yeah, shall we go with the two-handed? Or the dual wield, or the weapon shield. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with dual wield because I know it the most. I'm the best at it, and there's already a point in it. So why not? I did have a mod that like made it so you got to pick it, and you didn't have an already preset one. But apparently I took that off <laughs> at some point. Probably like reinstalled or something. But yeah. Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans. And though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled off community known as the Alienage working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known, until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. <laughs> and now we come to the problem of if I should voice these or not. Probably not, because I'm not very good at that. Come on, don't make me use cold water again. You do remember what today is, don't you? Uh... Summer day? No, you idiot. You're getting married today. And Soros, too. That's what I came to tell you. Your groom, Nelleros. He's here early. Already? And I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, sort of. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to at least voice, like, maybe 50% of the dialogue. If I feel like I want to, then I will, I guess, is what I'm probably going to do. But, yeah. I'll uh, see you guys next time when we start to take a couple steps forward and push the W button.